Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. The regular session of the legislature is history, but some major issues remain unresolved. And that includes a bonding bill, transportation funding, and a more secure driver's license. Delane Cleveland has reaction from several local senators on the lack of compromise. On the final day of the legislative session, senators packed into the Senate chambers to say goodbye to their retiring colleagues. That's when we put on our happy faces and uh, forget all of the entanglements and debate. It's a happy moment in a day filled with finger pointing over the fact that the session ended with unfinished business. It would have been nice to have had these matters worked out in enough time for all of us to, you know, conclude in an orderly fashion. Lawmakers failed to meet Sunday night's deadline to pass a transportation bill and a bonding bill which pays for construction projects. There were over $700 million of needed road and bridge repair and rebuilding costs in this bonding bill. Repairs that for now at least will be put on hold. And much of it comes down to the DFLers desire to secure a funding provision for the Southwest light rail line in the bonding package. It's been a very clear message to the house uh, that uh, light rail was critical for this year or we would lose almost $900 million in federal funding uh, and cause perhaps a permanent ending of that project or a 10 to 15 year delay. DFL Senator Ann Rest says they had an agreement with House Republicans to pass a bonding bill that included light rail. Clearly we would not have entertained a bonding bill that didn't have transit in it. Republican Senator Warren Limmer claims that light rail was off the table. The light rail was never part of the negotiation until last night when it was pushed as an amendment in the last three minutes, and it was designed, jam it in there and then throw it back to the house, take it or leave it. Whatever the case, it might take a special session to work out the issues. Whether that happens is up to the governor. At the Capitol, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. The legislature did pass legislation that spends more on early childhood education, a tax bill with $260 million in tax cuts.